Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a little tour of my Jumping Spider's new container that I got for him. So, I, it's not all the way done, but this is kind of like what I've done so far. So I just like got this uh, stick outside. I don't know if you can see it good. Um, yeah, I like got this branch from like a tree and then I found this like thing of cement and it actually, like the way it was broken up, it fit perfectly because it had a totally flat back and then like a flat bottom. So it was able to fit in there like perfect. And then the branch was like way too long so I had to like cut it and that was kind of hard because it is really thick but I finally got it in there and then this right here is like a spray bottle thing and so pretty much I cut like part of it off to kind of make the opening a little bit bigger I didn't have any clear like pill bottles because that's what, that's what I was going to use originally but I, didn't, I only had like the orange ones so I wasn't able to use that and then what I did was I stuck it on with like this um, sticky dot things I'll show you that in a second so yeah because I always had uh, an in my spider's other container I have it in right now, I always had the problem where it would make its web like at the very top and then every time I take the lid off, it would rip its web. So I felt really bad every time I had to open the container. So this one kind of goes up like a little bit higher, you know what I mean? So hopefully, even if it doesn't decide to use this little container thing right here to make its webbing. Hopefully, even if it does do it like in the corner, because the uh, cover goes up a little bit, like dome shape or whatever, hopefully it won't rip the web. So, all right, so I got the container at Walmart and it was five, hmm, it's not gonna, Five ninety four for the pet carrier. It said it was like for fish and stuff, but um, hang on, I forgot that downstairs. I'll bring the paper that came with the carrier. But um, I mean the slats look like they should be small enough for it to not get through. If it isn't, and they are, yeah, if they are too big, then I'm gonna have to, I don't know, maybe put some kind of like cloth over it or something until the spider gets a little bit bigger for it to fit in there. Um, hopefully though, it's not too big and it won't be able to get out. Um, I haven't put him or her in it yet. Not sure if it's boy or girl yet. Uh, because I'm still, I just put this part in here last night and I want to make sure it's not gonna fall and like unstick. So, pretty much it's like, you know, I just use like a spray bottle like this kind of and then I cut like around this area off. But like I said, if you have like a clear pill bottle, you could use that instead and that would probably be better because it would have like a bigger opening. But that's all I had, so that's what I used. And then this is what I use to stick it to the back of the container. It's like hang on it's like these circles and they're like sticky and it sticks on both sides so it sticks it sticks to the container and then it sticks to the bottle yeah and that's the brand so it says it holds up to 0.6 pounds or whatever, so I mean, 
that's not really heavy, that bottle, so hopefully it'll stay stuck. I don't know. We'll see. So if it, if it stays on there by tomorrow when I get up, then, and it hasn't fallen down yet, then I know it's safe to put the spider in there and it should be alright. And then, besides that, um, I'll probably like put some leaves in there. I have like some fake leaves, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that or just keep on- I mean right now I'm using like real leaves, but those keep on dying and then I have to put a new one in every day. So, not really sure what I'm gonna do for that so far. I don't think I'm gonna put like- I have soil like for my plants and stuff that I, I could use at the bottom, but I don't know if I want to do that because I feel like I wouldn't be able to see the spider that Okay, um, anyway, sorry. I ran out of storage space on my phone, so I had to make some room. Um, I was saying that, yeah, about the soil, that I don't know if I want to do that for sure because, um, yeah, it might be harder to see the spider, um, when it's on the bottom of the container. And I like to always, like, peek in and make sure it hasn't, like, escaped, you know, especially if I'm not sure if the holes are going to be too big or not. I like to be able to see where it's at, so that's why I'm going to keep it kind of empty, the container, for now, until I know for sure that it can't escape. But, um, I do have, like, some other sticks I might add in, stuff like that. And, uh, I went and I grabbed, when <laughs> I ran out of the space, I went downstairs and I grabbed the paper I was talking about. So this is what came with the container when I got it and that's what it says and that's how big it is and stuff Ooh, flashes in the way so yeah I got it at Walmart and it was only like six dollars like I said so and then it had like different color covers you could pick from too and then also um don't mind it's kind of rusty this is what I used to cut the branches with it's like I guess like a bush trimmer kind of thing so it can cut through pretty thick branches um I did have trouble with like the bottom part because it's so thick but like small ones like this you can easily cut through so and then also um I use this to file down the branch afterwards because I the branch that's that was in my spider's first container um I noticed that like after like a week it started to grow like these like weird white dots on it I don't know if it was like mold or like fungus or what it was or maybe it was nothing and it, I don't know maybe I was just overthinking it so this time I when I got new branches for it I um put it in the oven and I like I put in put it in the oven for like maybe 10 minutes because it did start to smell like it was burning and I was scared it was gonna catch on fire even though it probably wasn't gonna still I got nervous so um I put it on at like 200 degrees or something just to try to kill like any like bugs or anything on it or you know there still is like some greenish like kind of stuff on it on this one but so when I put in the oven, it did kind of like make like a layer peel on it, kind of. You can still see, I'm not, I didn't take all of it. I still need to take some more off. But it started to like kind of bubble off and like peel after it had been in the heat. So I like used like this junky nail file and I like scratched it kind of off. <clears throat> so yeah, I think that's everything pretty much for now. Um... If you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I think that's it. So, actually, I'll show you what the container looks like right now that I have the spider in. Hang on. Okay. So, this is the container that I have the spider in right now. Um, it was... Uh, cotton candy container <laughs> and it was like a dollar at the store so I just like punched some holes in it and that's actually 
the spider right there at the top. Um, she or he just molted not that long ago. Uh, I gotta post that video. I haven't posted that one yet. But, so I don't really want to mess with her right now that much. But, yeah, I feel like with all that writing on it, I, I, I'd rather have like a b clear, like, you know, window to be able to see into to see her, so. Or him. So, yep. That's pretty much it. So she is, or he is, pretty small. So like I said, hopefully um, those slats won't be too big. Because I know with some of these bigger holes, um, the spider has been able to like come out of it. Now, it has grown a little bit bigger since it uh, shed its skin. So hopefully it won't be able to fit through it anymore. But for now, because it can get out of these holes sometimes, I've just been taking like paper <laughs> and putting it on top of it. And then sometimes, like at night, when I know I'm not gonna be able to, to watch to make sure it doesn't escape, I like put something like heavy over it. And that's it. <laughs> so, all right. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.